you know, uh, when uh, we mention about the difficulty, we remember to the hadith, eh? Man salaka tariqan, uh, yal tamis fihi ilman sahadallahu lahu tariqan ilal jannah. Uh, those who seek knowledge, you know, difficulty and everything, Allah will make their way to paradise easy. Uh, uh, so may Allah uh, <coughs> grant us with his his blessing, inshallah. <coughs> okay, uh, we proceed with our uh, fifth uh, week now. Tasawur <coughs> Islamic worldview. Okay, let me present. Okay. <coughs> so today we are going to talk about uh, uh, dunya. Uh, so I just focus on uh, an aspect related to dunya is uh, on sunnatullah. And also uh, the fourth one is uh, Al-Akhirah. So there are four. Number one, we did mention about Allah, God. Number two uh, is about uh, self, about insan. Number three is about uh, dunya. And uh, number four is about uh, uh, Akhirah. So these are the four major constituents. Eh? Okay. <clears throat> the concept of uh, sunnatullah, sunnatullah. Uh, sunnah here means a pathway. It also stands for consistency and order. So sunnatullah means God customary way of acting. Uh, God customary. Customary means uh, normally how this are uh, uh, how God is do, doing. The fire burns. Uh, the fire burns. Uh, the eyes uh, cold. So the sun, uh, uh, what they call this, rise from the east and set in in the west. So that's uh, uh, what we call sunnatu, sunnatullah, or the definition is a uh, God uh, customary way of, of acting. And if you need to succeed, you must work. You must put the, the effort. If you are sick, you need to consume the, drugs or med medicines and that's how you know uh, sunnatu sunnatullah huh? sunnatu sunnatullah uh, sunnata man qad arsalna qablaka min rusulina wala tajida bi sunnatillahi tabdila uh, this was our way with the messengers we send before you you will find no change in our our way sunnatullah uh, it doesn't it doesn't change. Eh? It doesn't change. The fire uh, continue uh, to burn. Eh? Ice remains uh, cold. You know, uh, that's uh, sunnatu, sunnatullah. Eh? Uh, no change. Eh? No, no change. If let's say, for example, sunnatullah change, uh, then it will destroy the law of physics. Eh? The law of physics. Eh? The water boil at 100 Celsius. And uh, what they call this uh, frozen at the zero Celsius. But if it keep changing, then it will destroy uh, the law of physics, huh? <coughs> the science. Uh, this is the same ayah huh? with the same uh, translation. Walantajida bi sunnatillahi tabdila. There will be no no change in sunnatu sunnatullah. Okay. <coughs> okay. The Quranic concept of Sunnatullah uh, emanates from the same source on which system of universe is constructed, namely uh, divine justice. Uh, divine justice. According to the Quran, the entire universe was created in extremely balanced system and just order. Uh, in just order. Okay, this is uh, you know uh, behind uh, you know sometimes we wonder you know the this. Uh, NASA always uh, sometimes take the pictures, you know, find new discovery, and then we become so wounded, you know, with the disco discovery. But all this, uh, you know, behind all this, there is uh, the most powerful manager, the most uh, powerful creator, and that is Allah subhanahu no, wa ta'ala. Everything is in balance. Everything is in, oh, in order. Nah? Everything is in order. Okay. Sunnatullah in this sense means the absolute and eternal rule that God has prescribed for himself to deal with his creatures. Through this concept, the Quran draws human attention that God inevitably 
acts in the created world in certain ways, which are recognizable by close observation in the natural phenomena, as well as in historical event. The Quran declares that is law of God, Sunnatullah, which has taken course aforetime, you will not find any change for the law of God. Therefore, Sunnatullah prescribed kind of universal and unchangeable rules that govern the universe and human his history as, as well. This character of Sunnatullah established two main methodological factors with regard to the Islamic theory of knowledge. Number one, physical world is fact. Therefore, men should acquire knowledge through observation and empirical method. This is, uh, you know, the, the, the outcome is pure, pure science. Eh? The outcome is pure science. That is through observa observation. Eh? We observe the, the creation, God created creation. Eh? The, we study, actually, the scientist, scientist actually is the, is uh, is the one that uh, you know study the, the what they call it sunnatu sunnatullah you know those who let's say for example those who study uh, about animals eh? sunnatullah in animals uh, the pattern of allah in animals uh, we call what we call zoologists uh, zoologists zoologists are those who study sunnatullah on on animals we have a uh, what we have a uh, uh, what they call this uh, botanist, for example, botanist who study uh, sunnatullah on plants, for example, on on plants. We have a uh, meteorologist, uh, those who study sunnatullah on <coughs> on weather. For example, right? uh, so these are all those scientists they study uh, sunnatullah in the uh, in uh, you know uh, on the creation of Allah subhanahu no? wa no, taala. So they produce knowledge based on observation and empirical uh, methods. <clears throat> Second, uh, human uh, history is governed by systematic patterns and rule recognizable to the human intellect. Thus, a sustainable civilization can be established only with consideration of this pattern, which can be discovered upon critical examination of this integrated civilization and knowledge of reasons that were behind their rise and fall. You know, this, uh, you know, for the first one, we say that uh, it is pure sign. So the second one we call social sign. Example here, history. You know, uh, that's why people say history repeat itself. Why history repeat itself? Because we behave uh, the same way. We repeat the same mistake, for example. Then history will repeat, repeat itself. Uh, because what? Because uh, sunnatu, sunnatullah. Like, for example, you know, <clears throat> you know, Allah destroyed the people of Lut because of their, what they call their behavior, their evil behavior. You know, when we repeat the same character, the same behavior, you now we should expect the same punish, punishment. Of course, it might be different from the people, the punishment for people of the past and people now. But, you know, it is open for the wrath of Allah subhanahu no, no. No, Taala. Because what? Because we repeat the same, uh, the same thing as done by what they call this the people of of Lut. Same thing, right? Because Sunnatullah is is perma permanent. It doesn't it doesn't change. That's why brothers and, and sisters, you know, you know, uh, in order to succeed, in order to succeed, you know, it is not about can or cannot. It is about you want it or not. Because if you want to succeed, you follow the sunnatullah, the system of Allah on those who are successful. You follow them, what they are doing, their values, their behavior, their character. You follow them, take their models, then, and then you will be su successful. Because sunnatullah is permanent. But the problem that you know, you want to, we want to be successful but we follow the path of those who are failed, for example. And then we cannot expect to be success, successful. That's why, you know, successful, success is not about uh, can or cannot. It is about you want it or, or not. So follow the sunnatullah of those who are successful people and you will be success, successful. Be iznil, 
biiznillah insyaallah insyaallah <coughs> because sunnatullah it doesn't it doesn't change yeah? okay <coughs> however sunnatullah does not describe details of natural laws such as law which pres prescribes certain medicine to certain disease because all that can be discovered by human intellect you know meaning that allah leave for our mind to think uh, to to think instead it provide principle of science based on a holistic vision of the of the world uh, meaning that allah give us you know uh, uh, what a gift of akal well, so then this sunnatullah can be unveiled uh, can be known through the through the the akal uh, through the akal okay kinds of sunnatullah sunnatullah is categorized based on two main domains nature fil uh, afaq nature and human fil an anfus sunnatullah in the natural phenomena afaq which is termed by the quran as ayah to afaq is also known as sunan kauniyah universal laws because it includes the most general laws that govern the cosmic order such as creation of everything in pairs zawjiyah and creation of everything in precise measures uh, this is this is very very important this is one of the uh, you know um, that we must remember you know whatever in this dunya everything in pairs when there is a day there is a night when there is a black you know black you know the 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 the, the pairs of the black is uh, the white up when you are up there you must don't forget one day you might go down when you are down don't lose your hope you might be one day you are going to go up when you are healthy thanks to allah don't be over what they call this uh, you know don't don't uh, uh, meaning that don't be uh, kufur with this ni'mah because one time you are going to to seek what but when you are sick don't lose hope wala taqnatu min rahmatillah because there will be a, a time a day that you will be healthy yeah if you are happy remember that maybe one time you are going to be sad but when you are sad remember there will be one time that you are going to have to be happy uh, this is a sunnah to sunnatullah you know sometimes uh, we when we look at we like to look at things you know uh, in you know uh, during the the good things about the good uh, about one about one things you know if you see something good for example don't forget you know maybe you do not know what is bad what what is bad because not everything is good there must be also something bad but not everything is bad there must be also something something good uh, that is sunnatu sunnatullah oh mashallah the investment very great you, know, you must remember that there are good side there are also the bad the bad side meaning that before you do you invest you must know both and you must be able to take risk I uh, mean that not everything is good and not everything is is bad. So this is very impo important important yeah? because we always expect uh, things are in good or uh, in accordance to our will but Allah create things in pairs huh? in in pairs. <clears throat> okay? The second type with consideration to its subject matter is sunnatullah in human domain which is introduced by the Quran as ayatul anfus means god sign within human side this uh, normally becomes the social science we have political science we have psychology uh, we have history we have uh, anthropology uh, okay? so these are all come under uh, social science okay so what are the characteristics of sunnatullah general general uh, general means let's say for example the water boil here 100 celsius you go to any other place you know it still boil at 100 uh, celsius under the same control variables so you know, the same control variables uh, so that means it is just general uh, it is general okay it doesn't happen only for one uh, place and uh, different at another place no 
you know if you want to succeed you must work everywhere the rule apply every everywhere okay that is the general the sun rises from the east uh, and set in the in the west okay this one might be whatever because it depends on the on your countries <laughs> okay permanent permanent means uh, it doesn't it doesn't change uh, the the fire continue burning uh, let's say if the fire uh, you know change yeah uh, have you cooked the, the rice yes mother i cook and then when you go you see the the rice become frozen uh, how could you know so you know it then it never change eh? it never change unless with his will with allah wills uh, like what happened to the prophet ibrahim when allah make the fire cool eh? when allah make the fire cool but normally the fire will will burn eh? the fire will burn eh? okay because it is permanent and because it is permanent that we can predict then we can predict you know the weather for example you know we can predict you know you know the scientists they study you know how how god uh, create uh, uh, genders how god creates genders of the baby how god creates baby you know they study this and then you know let's say for example after marriage five years five years no uh, output for example uh, no pregnancy and let's go to the doctors check for example okay then you go for what we call this test tube babies uh, test tube babies and then you know uh, the doctor you know even in, in certain cases uh, the doctor can can decide how many you want three two uh, okay i want three uh, two boys and one one girls okay doctor no problem you have money you pay for them. then the wife got pregnant and you know, with three uh, two boys and one one girls because what because this scientists they study sunnatullah how god create genders and how god create what they call this uh, baby in in the womb so uh, okay because what because sunnatullah is permanent and uh, for uh, exactness it is uh, exact but sometimes uh, uh, it is wrong not because the sunnatullah is wrong but because of the limitation of our no knowledge uh, as sunnatullah is exact but our judgment is wrong uh, because what because the limitation of our knowledge uh, for example science eh? science science is based on observable so the question is is everything observable no so that's become the limit of of science when we talk about social science you know, we talk about man man you know the essence of man is the ruh can we observe ruh can we know exactly about ruh uh, you know very difficult that's why some of our prediction uh, goes goes wrong the, even the term prediction assumption also it means that it subjects to a error but sunnatullah is permanent and exact eh? so so <clears> high <throat> okay and number five diverse that was sunnatullah in every aspect of our our life in all aspect because when allah create things allah creates together with its system its law uh, it is di diverse the more you know about sunnatullah uh, you know of the things uh, the better person you will be you will become eh? you will become Okay, that's the characteristic of uh, sunnatu sunnatullah okay manifestation of sunnatullah in nature uh, these are some uh, examples uh, god created nature and then assigns to each heaven its duties and commands uh, example this in surah fussilat is it that ye deny him who created the earth in two days and do ye join equals with him he is the lord of all the worlds he set on the earth mountain standing firm uh, this is how god created sunnatullah with regard to the mountain high above it and bestowed blessing on the earth and measured therein all things to give them nourishment in due proportion in four days in accordance with the needs of those who seek sustenance moreover he comprehended in his design the sky and it had been as smoke 
he sits to it and to the earth. Come ye together, willingly or unwillingly. Yeah? Meaning that all creation of Allah, they have their own system. They said, we do come together in willing obedience. So he completed them as seven firmaments in two days and he assigns to each heaven its duty and command. And we adorned the lower heaven with lights and provided it with guides. Such is the decree of him, the exalted in might, full of no knowledge. Okay. Nature is so well knit that and works with such regularity that is the prime miracle of God, cited untiringly in the Quran. Uh, so meaning that the Quran is uh, the, the system, the universe you know, in how in harmony. Uh, these are always repeated in the in the Quran. Uh, for those who are think, thinking, la'allakum tatafakkarun, la'allakum ta, ta'kilun. Eh? Okay. Qad khalat min qablikum sunanun kasiru fil ardi fa'unzuru kaifa kana aqibatul mukazibin. This is sunatullah in human nature, history or civilization. Eh? Or Allah asks us to travel, look, you know, look and take the ibrah, take the, eh? the ibrah, the lesson. Many were the ways of life that have passed away before you. Travel through the earth and see what was the end of those who rejected the truth. Meaning that, you know, take the Ibra. If you do the same, repeat the same, so you can expect the same con consequence, or maybe in different form. Huh? Maybe in different form. Okay. If any do wish for the transitory things of this life, we readily grant them grant them, them such things as we will uh, to such person as we will in the end have we provided hell for them you know meaning that when when you get something everything you want Allah give it it is not it is not uh, the sign of the blessing it's not the necessarily the sign of the blessing maybe Allah hates you know Allah doesn't Allah doesn't want you Allah give whatever you want but he will punish uh, he will punish us later Huh? In the end, have we provided hell for them? They will burn therein, disgraced and rejected. Those who do wish for the things of the hereafter and strive therefore with all due striving and have faith, they are the one whose striving is acceptable to Allah. Of the bounties of your of thy Lord, we bestow freely on all this as well as those. The bounties of thy Lord are not close to anyone. See how we have bestowed more on some than on others, but verily the hereafter is more in rank and gradation and more in ex excellence. So this is also sunnatu, sunnatullah, you know, those characteristics, the consequence, you know, uh, Allah mentioned very, very, very clearly. And this is the way to uh, Jannah. Uh, this is the way to the, to the hell. Yeah? Good, good is not Something that happened according to our will. Good is something that brings us to Allah. Huh? But if something happened according to our will, desire, but it brings us away from Allah, that that's might be the musib, musibah. Huh? That might be bala huh? from Allah subhanahu no, wa ta'ala. But that's uh, uh, briefly about, uh, about uh, sunnatullah. Yeah, we talk about uh, in relations to dun, dunya. There are many other aspects uh, with regards to dun, dunya. <clears throat> okay. Uh, next uh, is uh, uh, the the last constituent is <clears throat> al akhir al akhira, the end or the hereafter. Belief in al akhira is a basic article of Islamic faith. Uh, this is uh, uh, what they call this number number six. Uh, number six. Uh, Al-Iman Billah wa Malaikatihi wa Kutubihi wa Rusulihi wa Qadar, this Qadar and wa Yawm Al-Akhir wa number five. Well, the sixth one is belief in Qadar and and Qadar. So it is among the pillars of the Iman, the pillars of Iman. Belief in Akhirah is a basic article of Islamic faith, along with belief in God, angels, books, and his messengers, divine decree, and predestination. 
After the doctrine of Tawhid and revelation, Al-Akhirah is the most repeated theme with the all vigor in the Quran. All of the teaching of Islam would crumble, uh, no use, meaningless, if the afterlife of, or the eternal life were to be denied. It is therefore incomplete and indeed impossible to discuss the teaching of Islam without referring to the great significance that Al-Akhirah possesses, not only for man's final end, but also for his life in this, in this world. Eh? So many things will be become meaning, meaningless. Eh? The concept of ikhlas, the concept of sincerity, you know, meaning that uh, you wait for, let's say, for example, for divine justice, for example, in Akhirah, this are all will be destroyed if there is no uh, uh, such thing called akhi, akhirah. Al akhirah literally translate into English as the last akhir eh? and the end. Dunya, dunya from the word dana. Dana means close, means close. Eh? So that's why uh, this now the world now is 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 very close to us. Normally we like something that is close. Uh, we 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 sometimes don't like something that comes uh, late. For example, al akhirah always uh, comes late, you know, uh, especially after our our death. We want it now, immediately. That is dunya. That's why many people, you know, they drown. They are drowned in this dunya because the nature of dunya is is close to to them. The happiness dunya, the happiness in dunya is is somehow uh, very close compared to the ha happiness in Akhirah, which is, uh, you know, late, eh? which is very, very late, you know, after death. You can claim the check, you know, after, after death. Eh? It is very, <laughs> somehow very, very late. You know, normally uh, what is late, that the, the one that we like is uh, paying the debt. You know, we like to pay the debt late, you know, but the rest, we want it to be fast. <laughs> okay. As it deals with the end and ultimate, uh, yeah. ultimate destiny of mankind and this world, it is often enclosed within a Greek term, eschatology, means the science or teaching concerning the last, the last thing. Al-Akhirah in Islamic belief system specifically refers to the hereafter. It signifies both the other and ultimate state of existence in the world to come and the life of everlasting duration and the good or blessing of the ultimate state of the other world. In both senses, it is opposed to a dunya, which means the here and now of life and immediate and transient values. The name of Akhirah. Al Akhirah has more than 40 names scattered in the Quran verses. The names vary according to different spectacles of Al Akhirah and the purpose of Akhirah served. Nevertheless, some names are more central than others. It is known as the day of resurrection, Yawmil Qiyamah. Qiyam, eh? Qiyamah means resurrected, Al Baqs. When all the dead bodies will be brought back to life. And then assemble the day of assembly, Yawmil Jam, Yawmil Jam, to stand trial, the day of judgment, Yawmid Din, and accounts for individual deeds of commission and omission, the day of uh, reckoning, uh, Yawmul, Yawmul Hisab. So meaning that the name is according to the, uh, the, the, the situation, yeah, the case, right? the situation or the case. So why do we need to believe in uh, Al-Akhirah? What are the necessity and wisdom of Al-Akhirah? Uh, yeah. Number one, it is a manifestation of divine justice. Some criminals and oppressed rulers may enjoy opulence and luxury until the end of their life. On the other hand, other people might be righteous and lead a virtuous life but did not survive to reap to reap the fruits of their labors. Instead, they have been made a scapegoat for all sorts of crimes. Uh, this is, you know, meaning that we need a day that we will get back our, our rights. Yeah? We will get back our, our rights. You know, brothers and, and sisters, uh, this is about, uh, you know, a little bit about dunya also. 
you know <coughs> Allah is uh, adil Allah is adil just eh? Allah is uh, powerful eh? Allah is powerful you know uh, according to this principle of the uh, the just of Allah the, uh, of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so all good things happens to good people supposed to happen to good people and all bad things happens to bad people that is uh, justice that is just justice all good things happen to good people and all bad things happen to bad people but uh, can you see it in this dunya happen like that you know i know many people say no yeah uh, you know normally good people they receive something bad and bad people they receive something something good actually i want to tell you it happened as it is all good things happen to good people yes it happened like this and all bad things happen to bad people you know how is that if you ask how is that we have to define good we have to define good good doesn't mean that something happened in accordance to our desire good does not mean something happened according to our will good is what brings you to allah if Let's say, for example, you are away from Allah, you know, you know, you're doing a lot of maksiat. Then Allah gives you sick, and that sickness brings you to Allah. So, what is whether is this sickness good or bad? It is good. It is good, even though it is not in line with your desire, because it brings you to Allah. But if you receive a lot of bounties, ni'mah. You are very good. At the end, you run away from Allah. That is not good. That is not not good. That's why, you know, you see some people they have a lot of things, but they do maksiat to Allah. That's not good. That's why in this dunya, all good things happen to good people, and all bad things happen to bad people. But, you know, with the true definition of what good is. That is something brings you to all Allah, whether you like it or not. It is it is good. Uh, it is it is good. <clears throat> okay, that's number one. Uh, why do we need al akhir? Uh, because we need a day that all the rights will be re written to its own owner. Uh, uh, maybe let's say for example, we can skip. We can skip escape from this. The punishment in this dunya, but the punishment there is worse. Is is worse. Is is worse. One day, Allah said, "Go to hell." One day equivalents to one thousand, as one thousand years. One day in akhirah equivalents to one thousand years. Be there one day enough. That's why. Rather than Allah punish us, you know, a letter, uh, it's okay if Allah, let's say, for example, give us some test and then we do sabar and we pray to Allah and make this step, this step far. Uh, we make this step far to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Right. Were the five of both group of people to be close in this world on the basis of what transpires, what would become? For the infinite justice, wisdom, and mercy that God cherished for His servants, nobody who has the slightest notion of love and justice would consent to such a state of affairs. That's why, at the end, by 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 fitra, naturally people will will uh, you know will understand that there must be a day that all rights needs to be written to uh, his or to their own. Honest, eh? It's also obvious that not all the good and evil deeds are subject to final accounting in this worldly life. Many crimes and virtues are are thus not commensurable with the worldly retribution or reward, respectively. It is more logical to look further beyond this. This world. you know, sometimes the The, the the mistake is so great, but the punishment is so uh, so light or so sim simple. So, but in akhirah, 
Masha'Allah. Uh, people will, you know, uh, will be punished and accordingly and people also will be rewarded uh, echo accordingly. Uh, <coughs> okay. The link between uh, God justice and the need for a precise accounting of man's deed and misdeeds make resurrection irrefutably necessary. necessary. Uh, these are among the reasons why uh, we need uh, akhir, akhirah. Why akhirah is necessary. necessary okay? It is only in the hereafter that all this, however extensive or infinitesimal, will be irresistible, exposed, scrupulously scrutinized, and then adequately requited. Perfect. 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 Yeah. Yeah. If, you, if you expect perfection, that will be in Akhir, in Akhira. Huh? In Akhir, Akhira. Okay. Excuse me. Yeah. Uh, battery. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Uh, sorry for uh, battery. Okay. <clears throat> We shall set up skills of justice for the day of resurrection so that not a soul will be dealt with unjustly in the list. And if there be no more than the wake of a mustard seed, we'll bring it to account and enough we are to take account. So the, the stress by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that justice will be, yeah, will be up, upheld. Yeah? <clears throat> Secondly, the ends of the life must be clarified beyond any doubt so that men may see what they have been striving for and what the true purpose of life are. The life indeed is incomplete if considered from the perspective of this world alone where values are grounded in the transitory rather than the immutable. Well, uh, what is in Akhirah is uh, immutable. What is uh, uh, related to this dunya is transit, transitory. Meaning that it must be attached or related to something which is perma permanent. Uh, al -akhir, al -akhirah. In the hereafter, every person will find his deeper self fully excavated from the debris of extrinsic and immediate concerns wherein the means is substituted for the ends and even pseudo means for real ends, where falsehood is not only substituted for truth, but become truth and even more attractive than truth. That's dunya. That's dunya. Sometimes the evil you know, will be uh, treated as something good, but the good is being considered as, as bad. But that will not happen in Akhirah uh, under the uh, management of Malikiyaw, Malikiyaw, Middin, eh? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, all things will be just, eh? all things will be just, will be rewarded echo, accordingly and will be punished also echo, accordingly. So that's why uh, we really need uh, al, -akhir, al Akhirah. Al Akhirah is near is really ne, necessary. Okay. <clears throat> so what makes the hereafter better than this worldly life is not only because of the quality of uh, its life, but also because of the everlastingness and permanence of such such life. You know, meaning that Abba Abadi Al Akhirah is Abba Abadi. The Quran simultaneously maintains both characteristics when it states. But the hereafter is better and more in the enduring, uh, in, dur in duration. Uh, brothers and uh, sisters in, in Islam, <clears throat> and the last slide, uh, the last slide, the third reason why uh, Al Akhirah is uh, necessary, why do we need Al Akhirah is uh, dispute, dissensions, and conflicts of human orientation must be finally resolved. The problem that sometimes it cannot be resolved in this dun dunya. Yeah? Some people, they like to say, wait for me in Akhirah. 
see you in akhirah. <laughs> you know, brothers and sisters, be careful. Huh? It is not encouraged to sit so because, you know, whatever you can settle in this dunya, you settle it. Because, you know, in order to get time to be what they call this, uh, to be uh, what they call this, stable in the, in the Allah court, it takes a long time because there are so many people. You have to queue your case, you know. Uh, you know, meaning one by one, you know, Allah become the judge, witnessed by the prophet. It takes a long time. So, Ustaz, is how long? Sir? It doesn't care because akhirah is abba, abadi. That's why if you can settle things in this dunya, you settle it. You know, forgive. Let's say you forgive people. Uh, you forgive people. You settle. If you have anything wrong, any debt, for example, settle it in this dunya. Because if you wait for akhirah, you do not know when your case will be table and will be what they call this, uh, I call this, con considered, will be con considered. That's why Imam, Imam Wazali said, you know, uh, you know, uh, qabla antuha taha. So, you know, he encouraged people to, what they call this, to, to check and settle in this dunya uh, before, uh, before akhir, akhirah. Because akhirah is teri terrible uh, so many people you imagine how many people are there during the time of the prophet adam until qiyamah people all people are, are there to wait for their their rights uh, so don't you know don't simply say see you in akhirah wait me in akhirah and then terri terrible yeah? uh, disputes dissension and conflicts of human intention must be finally resolved for the most part human differences are plucked with extrinsic motivation of selfishness of individuals, groups, and national interests, and inherent tradition and merit are the form of fanatism. The resolution of this difference of belief, therefore, will be practically identical with the manifestation of the motivations of this belief. Eh? Of this, of this belief. Eh? My dear brothers and uh, sisters in Islam, that's uh, you know briefly about. Uh, the two uh, constituent uh, of uh, Islamic world, world view that is uh, some, something related to dunya uh, and also uh, al akhir al akhirah. Huh? I hope that, that uh, may Allah make uh, us uh, uh, understood and and make uh, all this beneficial to to us. Okay, I pass back the the button.